A lot of people are familiar with Military Sea Lift Command providing uh, logistics to ships at sea, but the other part of it is sea lift. We move large volumes of materials. About 90% of trade is actually moved across the oceans. The mission of VLA distribution is to support the global warfighter. Here in Norfolk specifically, we support primarily the afloat customers, the Navy ships here in Norfolk and deployed around the world. The vessel behind me, Ocean Giant, is preparing to uh, conduct a mission called Operation Pacer Goose. It's the resupply to Thule Air Force Base out in Greenland. It's uh, approximately 700 miles inside the Arctic Circle. They have a small window of time in the summer months where we can get a surface ship up there to resupply. We're at Pier 8 at Norfolk Naval Station and we're supporting Operation Pacer Goose. We consist of a team of crane operators, riggers, block embracers, and stevedores. We are loading uh, 201 containers. It's a big team. There's three ships that are involved in the operation. Ocean Giant, she's moving the dry cargo, uh, food, parts, um, machinery that needs to be replaced. Uh, there's a second vessel that's called the Baltic Monarch. She's a ice-hardened tanker. She's going to be moving about 8.6 million gallons of JP-8 fuel. And then there's a third vessel. It's a Coast Guard uh, icebreaker from the Canadians, and that's the uh, Pierre Radisson. It's about 3,600 miles to get up there. It's about 11 days, approximately, of steaming time to get there. The unique part is just the, the, the weather that we're going up into. It's the, the northernmost deep water port in the world. There's you know, nothing further up than fishing villages. So we'll be going past sort of Iceberg Central on our way up there. This is half the mission. The other half is picking up all of the Connex boxes and uh, broken material that we left last year and bringing it back here for recycling or uh, destruction. I think Pacer Goose is very important for DLA distribution in two regards. First, it gives us an opportunity to flex our muscles in case we need to support a wartime event or a humanitarian operation on a large scale. Also, it gives us a great opportunity to interface with our customers. So it's a great opportunity to bring the team together to meet our customers, talk with them, meet their needs, and uh, maybe even uh, to come up with some new ways to support them.